Uh oh. What? <gasps> Why? Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Death Stranding. So, uh, we are heading to the final place that I need to go to, which is the port city, and they need some aid, so that's what I have on my back, but I also got a bunch of weapons, uh, while I was playing this by myself, which is a bunch of grenades that are made from Sam's blood. Apparently, they could attack the BTs. Not sure if we can kill them yet, I'm gonna have to test it on them, but I also got a bike. That is another thing that I have gotten, uh, from playing this game and the thing is right now I don't have a lot of battery charge on it I need to fix it up too so <laughs> and I don't want to lose this bike because it's been very valuable for traveling around and you know Norman really just rides a bike in real life so it's very fitting for him I think maybe I can build one out here so other people can use it too Ooh, here we go Generator. Ah, oh, charging my bike. I don't have to build one. Yeah, charge it up. All right, perfect. Now I can travel all the way over here. So let's go. Hmm. Oh no, there might be BTs in this area. I'm seeing a lot of warning signs, but I have no where. Ah, oh, I have no choice. I kind of have to go this way. Let's see if I can bring the bike around. Hopefully. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna try to take the path. Sam, having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. Oh, uh, no, am I stuck? Are, you're also oh my god. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields, all of whom are ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. All you have to do is ask. Ah, uh, I'm gonna kill Sam by accident, but I don't blame Sam for not, you know, wanting to get close to all of them. I imagine, like, this has been going on since probably he's been born, right? Or even before he was born, because of, I, I just keep seeing that flashback of him in, in his childhood with Amelia, so... Or Emily, so... I'm just assuming Sam has been living like this for a long time. Oh, God. Go up! Crap, all my stuff is getting ruined! <gasps> yep. Can I even ride this thing? In with the BTs? I'm gonna find out. Maybe this is stupid, but I wanna bring this bike. Oh my god, this is dangerous, isn't it? Because the bike makes a lot of noise. Oh, should I not go- I should not go up this high. <gasps> What am I doing? Wait, <laughs> guys, this is so stupid! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on! Go up, over this rock! I'm trying to Skyrim this! <laughs> My bike has been damaged? I mean, I, I I can see why I'm dragging it through a bunch of rocks right now. So, vehicles have durability rating and will no longer move once the depleted durability... Uh, once it's depleted, durability can be restored uh, while storing it in a garage, or I can fix it. Container sprays obviously won't work on them because they're for containers. <laughs> I'm ruining my bike! I need to- I need to take care of this thing, and it's raining too, so that's not helping. But don't worry, I will fix it once we get to a safe area. Can we charge this here? Oh, <gasps> yes! But I was thinking about- Oh no, I can't talk yet! The mules are here! I'm gonna just drive, F it. If they see me, they can't chase me, I'm on a bike, so... I don't care. Yeah, they're gonna try to steal my cargo, a bunch of assholes. But I was trying to say... I I get why Hideo Kojima made this game, especially in this day and age. It's so... Ha! I knocked him off. It's so important right now because we're dealing with a lot of, you know, people using technology, relying on it, and the fact that, you know, a lot of people are kind of 
disconnected in an ironic way when social media is supposed to meant to like connect us and if you guys have been following him on Twitter during the development of uh, Death Stranding you can see all the stuff he was posting on it was about um, you know uh, relating to this obviously but his message clearly was useful <gasps> wait is there BTs here? Damn it, I'm trying to talk and at the same time there's BTs in this area. I may have to go around. Unless I can outrun them, because I can drive through and there's the, the station I got the bike from. Do you think that's possible? I'm scared. Wait, let me save just in case I screw this up. Oh, I can't save when a threat is detected nearby? I basically have to risk this. Oh no. Okay. Let me see if I can go around first. Oh no! Dude, I- oh god, I just wanted this to be a smooth way of delivering stuff with my bike. But I- it's not gonna happen. Bro, what am I gonna do? Oh my god! Maybe I should just floor it. I should just floor it. I should just floor it. F it. We're going. We're going, we're going, we're going! <gasps> it worked! <laughs> he gave me a thumbs up! <laughs> I didn't think that would work, I thought they would like capture me! Oh, that was so close! Oh. Ooh. Okay! Let me charge my bike, this is the station I built for, for myself because I didn't know what else to do. Alright, but you can see, this is the multiplayer. I love that the, they added this multiplayer thing without even seeing anyone, you know, whatsoever. We're all helping each other, and that was the message I was trying to talk about earlier. That Kojima's trying to connect all of us when we're not really connected in reality. Because um, that's how it is in social media. No one really cares about each other. They're kind of like they're in their own little bubble. And in this one, when you help each other, it actually helps the game, like, you can further yourself into the game faster than originally thought. Um, anyway, let's see if I can- oh god, I have to go through this way? Then where? I have to climb over a mountain? Can I even drive my bike this way? Someone's calling. Sam, it's Hartman. What's up? Your friend and fellow doom sufferer. Ha ha ha. We have the same kind of abilities. Such as it is, began with the beach, or rather, our discovery of it. Once the question of life after death was answered only by religion and philosophy. That is true. That's when how it is now. Come on, bike! Death became something more tangible, knowable. The living soon walked the shores of the afterlife, while dead things, beached things, began to find their way back. And then came dooms. And with it, a host of theories advanced by physicians and psychologists desperate to explain the world's newest mystery. The symptoms were duly categorized and stratified It's raining again. Levels. But repatriates like you are a singularly rare breed, worthy of a classification all your own. The specialists must have been climbing over one another to get a look at you. <laughs> and that's why I think Sam is very special. Should I leave my bike? <laughs> it's like I, I desperately want to bring it, but I don't think I'll make it that far. I feel like I should leave it behind. Maybe I have to walk the rest of the way. Okay, let me go back. Someone left a comment on my last video saying how, uh, when I mentioned Sam's name, I said it was like a fake name. And someone mentioned how it's just Porter Bridges, which is the company that he works for. I feel like in this day and age, maybe people just belong to a company because it kind of fits in with like the whole handcuff thing i know it's supposed to be like oh it's us connecting and whatever but it just feels like it's a prison right i don't know i just get that feeling that maybe he's just like owned by a company now maybe that's how it works and wouldn't surprise me if that's how the future is right we're just like a number in a system because it's kind of like that already i know 
a lot of people have been leaving a lot of like bad comments on my video saying this game is so bad it's like garbage it's trash but honestly i actually find it very relaxing i know i'm not showing everything especially me like walking around and stuff because i know it can can be boring to watch and i'm not gonna lie some people don't like that and that's okay but if you manage to get this game yourself and play yourself, I have to say it's pretty relaxing. Aside from like the BT stuff, it's actually like really nice to kind of like get lost in this kind of world. Um, compared to like a lot of other games, you know, we we play now it's more fast paced and very action packed, which is good too. I love games like that as well, like when things are happening and get exciting, but this one I can feel has to have a slow build up into something. That's why I'm hoping it will end up being something that that was like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 because I ended up falling in love with that game so hard after I finished the entire thing. And at first I didn't enjoy it because I'm like, oh, this game is so slow, but it was totally worth it. So I'm hoping that this one will be the same thing in, in a way that it will be worth it as the time goes on. But for now, we gotta be UPS delivery man and get these first aid stuff. Ah, here we go, the rain again, to the other side of Port City. I hopefully I can survive this trip, but now I have grenades, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it will help me. Okay, let's keep uh, let's keep going up. Maybe I should move some of the stuff on my back uh, towards my side so I can see my tracker. What is this thing called that has a unique name? I already forgot. But just so I can see where the BTs are. Yeah, we got big company. All right, first of all, which way do I have to go? I could, oh, sorry. I could um, go around this way and kind of go out here. Maybe I should? Because I could go through this way too. Best way to deal with this without getting caught in the middle of BTs like I did last episode because that was scary. Maybe I can get through here. So I can get out over here. Probably? We'll see. I don't know where they are, though. He's pointing in this direction, so they have to be here. Okay, I'm just gonna climb up this way, even though it's totally unsafe. Where are they? I don't see them. <gasps> oh, there they are. Right there. Okay, hang on. Let's take it slow, because uh, we're in a pile of rocks at the moment. Anyone in front of me? No, it's just that one guy behind me. Okay. Okay, okay. And it sucks because I'm trying to go fast too, but... Oh, there's another one right there. Because I don't want to deteriorate the, the stuff I have on my back. That's a delivery. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we're just still looking at this man, huh? I don't know if that's a man or a woman. Who knows at this point? Okay, okay, we're good. Okay. Oh my god! Keep walking, Sam. I think it's just that one guy behind me still? I think? What the F is that noise? Do you guys hear that growling? Is that the BTs? Do they make growling noises? I don't remember them doing that before. Okay, we're getting farther away from it. What? 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 What do you sense, boy? <laughs> it's like my dog. Oh, there's another one here. Where is it? Exactly. Oh! Two of them! Can I climb this? This is dangerous. Okay, wait, let me let me try. Let me try. They're just right there though. It's okay, baby, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. We're okay.
We're okay, we're okay. Kid, we're fine. I should- I feel like I should name the baby or something instead of, instead of calling it baby. <laughs> oh, there's another one here. <gasps> there's two of them. Oh, crap. Why did I take this way? It was a shortcut, but I still took it anyway. Okay, hang on. Before I begin, though, can I check you? See if I can calm the baby down before I go through. Dude, it's okay. It's alright. Let's make him happy first before we continue, because he might start crying, and that will, you know, cause the BGs to look at me. That meter's almost up. Come on. Almost there. You're good, kid. Don't worry. Alright. I just have to walk past these two. That's literally it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, kid. Hang on. Hang on, kid. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think they moved too, because my controller started freaking out. We're okay? We're okay? Look, kid, we're fine! Alright. There's another one. <gasps> yep, there's more. Okay, how much further? I just have to go straight. That's it. Damn! Can I even make it past here? You're okay, kid. They moved. They freaking moved. If this guy could move... That'd be great. Could you please get out of the way? Maybe it's time I gotta use the weapons. Maybe it's time. I think it's time that I used it. Right? Do they- do they die or are they just freaking out? I'm gonna move while they're still freaking out? Did I kill them? Yeah, I, I, feel you. I don't know if I killed them or not. Okay, let me unquip it just in case I start using it by accident. Okay. So I guess my blood is pretty effective when fighting them. Where's this next guy? He's over there. Okay, wait. Let's see if I can... Okay, we're okay, kid. We're okay, kid. Kid? Kid? We're okay. Just gonna go this way. Ooh, we're good, we're good, we're good. I gotta change my boots soon. They're starting to get really messed up. I should have scanned the area before I started walking again. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Should I throw it at this guy? Okay. It's okay, kid. We're okay, kid. We're okay. I gotta freaking help this kid out later. <laughs> I have to sink to him later so he'll be happy again. Okay, let me unequip that. They're still behind me? I think they're still behind me. Are we done? Let's move a little bit faster. Please tell me that's it. The thing is still pointing behind me, so that means they're still there. <gasps> oh 
we're done. Oh, we're done, we're done, we're done. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that was good. So now we know that, you know, Sam's blood is very effective. I don't know if it killed them. It seemed like it just kind of, like, um, weakened them a little bit, but I'm not sure about if it killed them or not. All right, now let's see where do I have to go. Damn, I have to make it down this area. So let's see if I can get to the end of this first and then see how I'm going to travel down the rocks because <laughs> that's not going to be fun. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it. And the kid didn't freak out that much either. Um, but like the other time when they grabbed me, that was bad. <laughs> Already here, holy crap. Now it's a matter of how the hell am I gonna get down from here? Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> okay, let's see if I can slide slowly. Sam, don't die, please. We're okay. We're okay. Alright, I'm just gonna... Walk down here? <laughs> Alright, we're good. We made it. May I may have to take the long way, though, because it seems like the, the these are too high slopes. So, see what happens. Oh, I love this song! This is so good. I know a lot of people were asking why I turned off the music. Again, YouTube's crap copyright system. Uh, Ludwig, though, the composer of this game, he mentioned that he's gonna try to make sure none of the content creators get copyright claims for the music, because he says it's very important to the game, which I agree, it's very important. Um, so hopefully he'll have an update soon. I don't know when that will be, but for now I do have to leave it off. Because I, you, if you've known my channel for a while, I have a lot of problems with YouTube. Ow! When it comes to copyright claims, because generally most of them are fake. So that's why I don't want any more trouble with it. But hopefully this will get sorted, because I love the music. How damaged is my cases? I think they're pretty damaged. Uh-oh. Port, not city. We're here, guys! Ah, oh, I can't believe this. That wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be really bad. Here we are! Alright, now I can deliver this. Uh, they're kind of damaged, but hopefully they'll accept it. <laughs> Here's all your stuff. Sorry they're damaged. Yeah. Bad army sent to do the work of a team. That's me. You and your two feet to fill all them boots. Cargo's in perfect condition. Really? Oh, I thought they're damaged. <laughs> all right, cool. We made it. Maybe I can take a rest now because I need to like upgrade some of Sam's stuff and like figure out what I can carry with them. Also, maybe I can craft some things. Ooh, I leveled up. Expert Handler, that's my new title, guys. So you heard of usher us into a new chiral age or some shit? Something yeah. like that. Is that cool? Hell yeah, go for it. Been waiting forever and a day for this. Alright, now time to connect them to the main city. Carnival music? It's like everything from the past. It's so weird. Alright, they're connected. Perfect. Port Knot City has. Wait. What? What's wrong? Where'd you get that? Get yeah, what? What's wrong with him? Same as mine. Where the hell did you get it? Huh? Yeah, I can't really say. But the little guy he came with the pod, if you gotta know. And who'd you get the pod from? Igor, from Corpse Disposal. 
my little brother. <gasps> oh. So what? He just gave one of these to you. Why? He didn't really gave it to us. He saved us. At the end. Yeah. We were moving a body. Things went. To There's BTs everywhere. And one of them grabbed him. So he told me to take it and run. Uh, Brian. Does he not believe me? So what's your story? You lived through a catastrophe like that only to keep on doing the same work. Okay. Why? <laughs> Been a long time coming, I suppose. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs with the expedition. With you. I mean, Sam right. already likes him. Like, he really does like the baby, doesn't he? Better be take this with you too, I reckon. What is that? Can't think of anyone who could use it more. What is that? Oh, grenades and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That'd be that'd be great. Uh I'm gonna have to put some of that in my locker because I I can't carry all of that. <laughs> Thank you, though. That actually will help me out a lot. Because we know the grenades work on the BTs. Sam. Oh. You've done it. Emily. Port Knot City is back on the grid. This community. Look at her! Silhouette, it's gold. Data. Completely different from the rest of them. Did you guys notice that? With enough time and enough Cairo printers, they'll be able to build ships. And one day, the waters will be ours again. All because you led the way. Though what follows in your wake isn't always good. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. Yeah, that one but dude who attacked us. I'm pretty sure he was the one who attacked us when we were with Igor. The rest of America is waiting, Sam. Waiting for you to take the first step and connect them to the chiral network. I know you can reach them. Make us whole again. Thanks. One more C in the UCA, huh? So, you fix it across the lake and head west? Yeah. We got a boat? No, not for years now. Terrorists took out everything, bridges, and floats. Only boat in town belongs to a private courier. Private courier? Don't tell me. Fragile Fragile's the only other company. I already spoke with their rep. I'm having them load the boat. I wonder, I'm pretty boat. sure we're gonna run into her again, right? I bet the folks in Lake Knot will be tickled pink to see someone come into port. Been a while, I expect. Head on down to the harbor when you're ready. It's right outside the distro center. Okay, cool. Um, if you don't mind, I would like to take a break because you hear that? It's raining. Don't worry. Port Knot never gets the rain. No you offense, but I don't believe him. <laughs> I feel like this time it's gonna happen. Alright, I'm gonna start- get everything situated and prepared for this, because I feel like something bad is gonna happen. Because we have to go to another city past this, it's called- what did he say? Lake? Lake City? Is that what it's called? I just have a bad feeling about it. Medical. Did it- did it just take some blood from me again? Okay, I have a question because I never asked this when they first introduced the handcuffs. Why is he handcuffed to the bed? I I I was always curious about that because what Do Dead Man said, he said, "Oh, it's just for your safety." Safety of what? What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna give some samples uh, to make more weapons because apparently every time we use the toilet or take a shower, uh, you know, they build it into grenades. Ew. It's, it's kind of gross if you think about we're throwing our excrement at the freaking BTs. Good grief. Here, let me... That should suffice. Glad to see everything's in good working order. 
Another of our new EX grenades. The number one. Let me guess, when I take a so shot, it's number two. <laughs> a vaporized extract formulated from your urine. Compared to our first iteration, this EX grenade contains a higher concentration of your fluids, which should make it more effective against BTs. Really? Whenever you avail yourself of your private room's facilities, we will collect the results and produce additional units for your use. So you needn't worry about uh, running out. Now, basically, just based on me. Okay, wait. What if I give them a toilet? The uh, sitting one. If I use the toilet again. Oh god, that's so gross. <laughs> Kojima, why? <laughs> hey, ride with Norman Reedus. That's the show I was talking about. Way to advertise Norman's show. But that's a show where he just like talks about motorcycles and riding on them. Oh, at least it's blue. It's not like a brown color. Good grief. It's called number two. Jesus. The latest in our line of EX grenades. I give you the number two. As you may have surmised, this model was produced with various extracts refined from your fecal matter. Ew. We suspect that your regular consumption of cryptobionts has led you to excrete certain compounds that may prove especially effective against BTs. If you would like us to produce more, you need only furnish us with the requisite raw materials via your private room's toilet. Oh my god. I look forward to your feedback. Well, let's have more grenades, so... I didn't get to use the sink last time. What can I do over here? That's so corny. Hey, take a picture. Okay, let's see if we get another memory from BB or Sam. I don't know whose memory it is still. Brought you an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even out of space. Oh, oh that was the thing attached to the BB's the container. Take you wherever you want to go. Is that why the baby likes it when Sam whistles? That's interesting. Um, before we leave, though, am I allowed to, like, repair my stuff? Alright, I changed my boots. Maybe I can, like, uh, get new ones, too. I'll switch these out. If it's giving me a lot of blood bags and grenades, why do I have a feeling I'm gonna fight something? Like, why are you giving me so many, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why do I need that many, though? Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna take it in case. I have a bad feeling about this. Have a pleasant journey. It's raining a lot. Remember when they said it never reaches here? What did I say? That was a lie. Oh my god. What's happening now? Uh oh. What? <gasps> Why? Oh my god, that's horrible! Yo, how? Where? They're taking me somewhere. They're letting me go? Hello? Um, who are you? Don't tell me this is the first boss battle. Oh no. The name's Higgs. Try Baker! Permeates all existence. Oh god, no! He's the terrorist, right? Ah, so it was you that dragged him into all this. <laughs> Bless 
bloodied, but unbound. Fragile? Mm -mm. Jesus! <laughs> He's just right there! <laughs> What's that? Bridget Strand is dead. America's last. How does he know that? Dead and burned. Oh, and now the girl's been chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Sir, how do you know all of this? But don't worry. He teleports? Her, I'll keep her real safe. Yo, get your hands <laughs> off of me. You see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. Oh, there's so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. He has his own bridge baby. Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you, you're no bridge. But me... I'm bound to all of it. This world, that How world, is he so connected to the dead? That's something very interesting. Death. What the f What are you doing? Higgs, stop. I don't like this. What is that? Sir, what is that? <laughs> You're on the menu. All it'll take is one itty bitty void out to blow us all to kingdom come. Uh uh, no. So how about it? Aren't you getting tired of the grind? I do know what I'd rather walk across the mountains and deal with this. Time. Bro, what the heck? What do I do? Heads up, Sam. According to our damage assessments, it would only take a single void out to total Port Knox City. Oh my god, a what do I do? I'm actually scared. To make contact with a civilian would be enough. We can't let that happen. Get away from me! You got to with that BT right now. I'm, I'm, yeah, easy for you to say freaking die hard. Take that! Oh my god, move, 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 move. Oh, where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? I need to keep moving, I think. I think this is the best option for me, is if I just keep moving. Get up, get up, get up! Where is it? Oh god! I have no more. Uh, let's use this one. What happens when I run out? Where's it going? Oh my god. Oh, stop! What? Who's that? Oh, it's the multiplayer function! Whoever was here before is helping me! Oh, this is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, Sam, run. Thank you. I need to get out of here. Is that it? Did I do it? That was 
the first boss, so I'm just gonna say it, it wasn't that difficult, but like... Oh, that's where the Chiron Crystals come from, but... Bro. Is that what we're gonna have to deal with for the rest of the game? Because I know if Higgs can just summon whatever he wants out of that abyss, that's not the, that's not the, like, you know, that's probably just a tame monster. What else is he a plan? I imagine it's gonna get bigger and bigger because the biggest BT of them all is that Titan thing. Oh my god, it's gonna get worse. Also, I know I'm playing on easy, so obviously it was a little bit easier to handle, but I'm, I'm just saying for the fact that I know it's gonna get gradually harder because that's how Kojima does his game, so I don't trust it. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was scary. Also, what was Fragile doing on the roof? Like, did she set us up with Higgs or... I don't know. Whoa! Oh. Is the baby okay? I was freaking incredible. out. Simply incredible. For the first time in history, a human being has defeated a BT. Yeah. Were you not a repatriate, I doubt it would have been possible. Not only does contact with your fluids pose no risk of trigger and avoid out, but in much the same way as your car is rejected by the beach. Your blood can be used to expel BTs from our world and return them to the other side. You've given us hope, Sam. Perhaps we may yet be saved. Oh my be god. Proud, my friend. Oh. Emily's still waiting for you in the West. I want to talk to Fragile, boat. though. It's ready. Yeah, that's get great, those but... To Knot City. We're just getting started. Let me get all this crystal stuff, though. I have, like, a lot of materials I can put in my locker so I can use it later. If- okay, if I'm gonna be honest right now, if the next boss I fight is that easy, I will switch the game mode to normal. And that's what I'm gonna do. The reason why I started playing this on easy was so I could, like, you know, uh, finish it. Because this game is long. I don't want to be stuck in it forever because there's a lot of new games that are coming out in the next coming months. But, um, if it is that simple, I will switch it. Because, like, I would like a little bit of a challenge when it comes to fighting those things. I don't know. That boss fight was interesting, though. I would have to keep moving, or else the, the oil would, like, submerge me. That's kind of panic-inducing, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, let me put all my stuff in my locker, and then we'll head out. Alright, so I have to go to the harbor, and we're gonna take the ship, which I have a feeling is gonna end badly, too, so... <laughs> you know what? You know what, what I'm gonna do, guys? After that boss, boss fight, I kinda wanna switch it on normal. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna switch it on normal. I wanna try. Let's see if it will be okay. Alright, the game is on normal now, and just to prove it, just in case anyone's like, oh, you didn't change it to normal, it's still on normal, I left it on normal, and I don't wanna see if this will be a better experience for me. Now that I've kind of gotten the hand of this world, um... That boss fight wasn't that bad. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the, the harbor now and see if we can get on the ship. Even though I know this is gonna end terribly, I just have a feeling something bad is gonna happen. Can I, like, drive a car or something while I'm at it? Like, that's kind of a far walk, dude. Can I borrow this? Can I borrow this? Locked? What? What's up? Gonna catch a ride on that boat, Sam? Yeah? Before you do... Be aware that you'll have to leave behind any cargo you haven't gotten around to delivering. It'd be a shame to abandon something important, though, especially if you were close to finishing a run. Okay. My advice, put that stuff in your private locker in Port Knot City. Or, if you're feeling responsible, you could just delay your boat trip until you've tied up with So yeah, people were telling me it's that, uh, don't do the side missions, because like, you can come back here later on in the game, and... Episode 3 is where everything kicks off, so we're just gonna go ahead straight into it. It's fine. Uh, I can come back. Uh, it's not a big deal. I guess I couldn't even bring my bike even if I had it. It wouldn't let me. Snack? Well, Jesus, fragile. Where did you come from, girl? What was that? that? Yeah. I don't break that easy. Name notwithstanding. Okay. You saw that asshole too, right? Higgs. He's the leader of a separatist group. Yeah, so he's the leader of the terrorist group. Like he was controlling that BT. Yeah. That's level seven for you. 
Higher, maybe. What? Seems like you know a lot about them. Used to work together. Guess you could say we had a contract. Huh. Really? Did business with terrorists? Whoever pays. No, I think huh? that's before he became a sick terrorist. Like that back then. Yeah, that's what I assume. I don't think he was like that before. So what's your angle? You want to save the world or you want to fuck it all up like him? Ooh. I wish I... I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. Fragile ship. Interesting how her logo is a bunch okay. of she still floats. Skeleton hands. And knowing what happened to no, her body. The only cargo left. It's interesting. Episode three, fragile. Oh, we're here! <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, guys, apparently this is where the story's gonna take off and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Now that we've met Higgs, we kind of have an idea of like what we're dealing with. He's absolutely a terrorist. There's no doubt about that. But I think he was a nice guy before all this. Something must have happened to him to cause him to be like that. We should get there tomorrow. Okay. He really doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Does he? Hey kid, how are you? He dropped it again, the picture. I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. Listen, I have something to ask of you. It has to do with that asshole. Higgs. <laughs> like how she calls him an asshole too. Is he sleeping? <sighs> he is sleeping. I, I mean, he, he's had a, he had a day. Could we talk about that? So, you know, fair enough. sleep like that no seriously how is sam sleeping like that i've slept on a bus before but that's not comfortable <laughs> oh amelie's here again sam. who is that pregnant lady is that his wife sam. or something do you remember She's over there too. It's almost time to go, Sam. I had no idea until you told me. 
What? No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. Poor Ron. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Here, it's a dream catcher. So, Wear it when you sleep, did she meet him when he was a kid? Because the timeline seems so I'll off. Be with you. Did you forget how to go home? Come on, I'll take you halfway, and then you can do the rest by yourself. Oh, little Sam is so cute. Better now? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. That's what she said too, right? When he went to sleep earlier. We used to play together a lot in this place. You brought me here. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So you can't just come back east through here? Not until you make us whole again, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Come and find me. Wait a second. If the beach is where the dead goes, does that mean Sam died? And then he was on the beach. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? And then she's like, you have to leave. You don't belong here. So she could only bring him halfway because Emily can't leave the beach because she's trapped there. Because he has a body to go back to. But why does Emily not have a body to go back to? That's the question I have right now. That's why I think Sam used to be a bridge baby. You know? Because like he's a little kid on that beach, so that means he died when he was a kid. Huh. That's interesting. Time to wake up! I don't know how you sleep. Yeah, how do you sleep on there? <laughs> me up? Girl, how many of those do you eat a day? <laughs> Welcome to Lake Knot City. Oh, we're here. What? Nothing. Let's go. What? Cargoes from Port Knot City, bound for Lake Knot. I'll leave these up to you. What I'm gonna bring? The dispatch terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator. <laughs> She's kind of cute. <laughs> I like that. All right, she teleported. I heard her. Sam, you know that she teleports. Why is he looking all confused? Okay, so... Uh... Is this the stuff that I have to bring? This is all my my supplies, so... Let me carry the, this stuff on my back. Okay. Uh... I gotta... Hang on, I gotta fix that. That can't be, like, good for my back. <laughs> Let's go up here. 
Oh, more things that I have and need. Oh, dear. I'm just gonna take all of this at the moment, because I probably can, uh... Oh, it's lost cargo shipment. Dude, I don't have room for that. Well, we're here now to the next part of the game, and I'm very excited about it, but... I don't know, just everything seems so off with the Sam. I, I don't know how to explain it. And then running into Higgs too, how is he able to control the BTs? Cause like, I'm just assuming if you have some control over that, maybe he's partially dead. That makes any sense. What do I do with all this stuff? I just want to know where exactly I'm going. Cause I have no clue- oh, over here. Lost City's over there on the other side. But I guess it's just giving me some options if I need some things. Like, not city. Distribution center. Alright. No? I'm sure they checked you on the way in, but I'm gonna have to take a second look. Okay. Why? All clear. Do they get bad things all the time? Unusual. Cargo looks great too. Been a while since we got some of this stuff. Oh, that's probably why they're paranoid. That's okay. I understand. Alright. Sorry for the hassle. Can't be too careful these days. Oh, we heard you were carrying a cupid. Is that right? You're clear to link us up. Yeah, now we can link up Lake City. Perfect. That one was loud. to going to across the United States. That's pretty cool. So we're finally on the network. Long time coming. We won't hold anything back. Capital Knot City will get everything. If all this info sharing makes everyone safer, I'm all for it. Yes, that's good. You can bet I'm not the only one here who feels that way. I suppose it was better when Bridges 1 first came this way. At least I don't remember terrorists and BTs making our lives difficult back then. That is true. Well, be careful out there. The world's not what it used to be. And thank you. You're welcome, dude. Finally made it past ground zero, Sam. Congratulations. I think her and silhouette is gold because she's on the beach, the right? And the dead only emulate that gold stuff. So... When he first came through, it was different. Peaceful. The three cities out there, Lake, Middle, and South Knot. We're all on board with our plans for reconstruction. Fragile Express was contracted by all three and kept supplies moving and people connected. But that all changed a year ago when the Separatists came. Yeah, freaking Higgs! <laughs> One took out Middle Knot City. They detonated nukes from the old days. Half of South Knot City went up in the other. Casualties were devastating. So, the, oh my god, yeah. Bridges That's why there's a giant crater. Resources to link up the remaining cities on its own. We need to secure the support of everyone, even those who want nothing to do with the UCA. Impossible as that may seem. The situation has changed dramatically since Bridges 1 first went west. The destruction of Middle Nod in particular forced us to adapt a new strategy. It's like Amelie said. We don't have the time or resources to construct another knot on that scale. That's why we've taken to cutting deals with preppers and the like. Our only recourse is to utilize their shelters to bolster the strength of the network. It takes a special kind of person to live out here on their own. The kind that'll tell us to f*** off if we ask them to join the UCA. <laughs> oh, we know. No one's expecting them to say yes up front. Is that what you're sending me? Don't like dealing with most people, they got on okay with Fragile Express. Don't tell me. You want us to use her credentials to get in good with them? Bingo. She's agreed to it. That's too. why she's coming along with us. She gets nothing really. 
chance to get back at Higgs, I suppose. I can't blame her for warning one. He took everything from her and then some. Time healed some wounds, but not her. Would she want revenge? The way she's Everyone talking, it sounds like she's easy, but she wants to redeem to him. Her. That's it's the way I see it. Now. We'll talk more later. All right, time to go down. But yeah, I don't know. I, I know she said that she called him an asshole and everything like that, but I don't think she wants to destroy him. I have a feeling she's trying to like get him back to where he used to be. All right, time to have another dream. <laughs> Are we on the beach again? He was fine when he's a kid. He could hug people yeah. and wasn't afraid. For me? It's called a keep room. It means not in old words. You can also use it to count stuff. I had a knot when I make a friend. That's so okay. cute. Then how about I add another knot every time I see you? This must be very important to you if you were able to bring it here. Very special. It is special. I made it for you. Boy, you're talented. Aww. Treasure it, Sam. Something to eat? Girl, have you ever heard about knocking on my door? <laughs> Why are you here? Ask your boss, man. No. I mean, why are you here? Got a delivery for a porter. You're gonna need this on the road ahead. What's that? This will ID you as an associate of Fragile Express. Oh, okay. It's woven from my blood and chiral crystals. Think of it as a kind of bond. Preppers around these parts won't give you trouble so long as you've got it. We were the only people making deliveries out here. This was our territory. Until he fucked it all up. What did he do? Like, why is he doing this? The Express. Our reputation. All of it. And now you want to come back. On your own. I'm not on my own. The Girl, cave. it's bad luck to open our brawling doors. <laughs> Next to your bed. So far apart, yet somehow we keep meeting. All that BT country in between where I should have been caught in the void out. Yet here I am. Here I am. What is she doing? You can use the beach? I have a beach. You've got yours. I've got mine. What? Really? I use it to jump across space. That's how she's teleporting! I can't conjure up BTs the way he can, but I can go after him, chase him to the beach. Oh! Is, everyone's got their own way in. I'm only allowed to pass through the beach I know and understand. I'm sure you've heard the term multiverse. Yes, like a lot of us have. Huh? You all right? The jumps take a lot out of me. Suck my blood dry. That's why she keeps eating the stuff, because she's like, it's taking a part of her. You're going to Edge Not City, right? Place is full of terrorists. But if you're dead set on it, then you're gonna have to deal with heat sooner or later. Look, I make deliveries, killing monsters and terrorists. I'm just a UPS no man, leave me alone. <laughs> what if we did it together? I could use my power to help you. We don't have to want the same thing to be on the same side. I could send you across my beach to any place the Kyrelians dig enough, any place connected to the Chiral network. And what do you expect in return? 
I expect you to think it over. Here. Call it an incentive. Hmm. And call me if you need me. This will keep us connected. See you when I see you. Okay, bye! I guess. Do you think Fragile can be trusted? Because, like, Sam is so hesitant to trust people. Fast travel. Oh, I can fast travel! Bless! <laughs> Fragile can instantly transfer you to any distribution center or safe house within the area covered by the Chiral Network. All items you are carrying will be placed in private locker. Finally! Because I was wondering, when do I have to keep walking across the damn map? Or get a bike? Or something like that? I can fast travel now! Okay. So I misinterpreted the beach thing. I thought you have to be dead to go there, so, so you don't have to be dead. So maybe Sam didn't die. What, <laughs> what is he trying to say? So maybe Sam didn't die, but he he found his way in there by accident. That's another possibility. Because everyone, everyone has access to the beach, to the other side, a multiverse. Which is like really... Oh, he has to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay, sorry. Hang on. You can go you can go to the toilet, dude. That's actually really interesting. And then adding on top of that, I think you remember Fragile said her body is like aging because of the time fall? I don't think it's because of that. I think it's because she goes to the beach way too much and it's like causing her to decay. That's why she started like having a re reaction. She started crying and then her nose started filling up with oil rather than blood. <laughs> he winked at me! <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna end this episode of Death Stranding right here. We're finally in episode 3 and I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. There's a lot of things going on in my mind because I, I have a lot of theories of like what's happening. But now we're introduced to Higgs and his ability to control BTs is so interesting. And maybe he's not dead, maybe he just has access to a beach and he's able to bring dead people along with him because they're so attracted to the living, right? Maybe he's transporting them from the beach to out because they the beach things want out right they're su not supposed to be there stranded so i think he's like a providing them a way to come out as long as they follow him so i think that's what's going on with him it's just this whole thing is so interesting so if you have any theories let me know let's discuss about it anyway if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of death stranding thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye